Welcome back to Got Fuels Model Car Garage. I'm Brian. Uh, just plugging away here on this uh, AMT 55 Cameo. Um, I'm pretty much at a stopping point until I get my uh, solder, my bigger solder, so I can finish the exhaust and get the, put the engine in, figure out where I'm going to cut it. I've um, made headers out of solder. Um, probably gonna cut them somewhere around in here. I got the tape on here to hold it together. Got a few little glue spots on it, but I got it wired. I know before anybody says anything, I know the distributor comes out of the water pump area time and chain, but, uh, As Pappy says, if you can dream it, build it. This is the way I'm doing it. If you don't like it, don't look at it. I already had a, somebody want to say something about my my distributor on on a social media group, Bookface. So you know, hey, I've got some holes. I make shift uh, up here. the um, inlet for the uh, coolant uh, and it's obviously supposed to be on the intake but that ain't gonna happen so I drilled out a spot I found a video it actually come up in my feed for Morse and um, Morse what is it Morse Morse I, know, I got him on my my YouTube y'all know who I'm talking about I made some radiator hoses similar to it's a video he done um, is about eight months ago it's one of them videos that just come up randomly on my feed he used solder and uh, some hose here that he said he got it from Joann's and this was all I could find. This was the pack it came in. Uh, both um, the tubing, black tubing, and some white tubing, the same size. But after making a radiator hose, I thought I had a piece of it laying up here, but I do not. Um, It was just out of proportion. As you let me get a piece of my hose here. One of my hoses. It, it just looked way too a whole lot bigger than this on there. I, I don't understand why, but it did. It looked really, really fat. I thought I saved a piece up here. I guess I didn't. Here it is with the with the hose band on it. So that's what uh and all that is um is HVAC tape to signify a, a hose clamp. Um it I, I don't I guess maybe I didn't get the right size. I don't know, but it, it was just way out of proportion. So what I did was this is heat shrink. It's about the same size, but once you heat it up, shrunk it down. Um, I mean, that's what I come up with. And um, put a piece on it. You can see, it looks uh, proportioned quite well. I'll have to hit that with a little touch-up paint when I get the hose in there. I already test fitted and got everything cut to length. So here's my interior. Hopefully, we can get a shot of the gauges. Doesn't look like there's going to be enough light. So, but yeah, they're in there. I'll get some. When I do the final build, I'll have some pictures of it where you can see it a little better. But it's in there. 
they're in there. They they don't look bad either. They look pretty good in there. Look, you know, modern powertrain. You got to have some modern gauges. So, so until my solder comes in, it's supposed to be in tomorrow. The two millimeter. Uh, I'm kind of stuck until I kind of lay out the exhaust on the bottom of the frame and figure out how I'm going to run it. So. Uh, that's all I got for now. Just a quick update. We'll catch y'all in the next one.